Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we're back with the Droid X. We haven't looked at this guy in a little while and he looks a little different. Kind of like, oh say, the Droid 2, which is running Android 2.2. So we've got that leaked build that my Droid World uh, put out. Uh, the lock screen looks pretty much the same. You can see the little silent slider has changed, but it's the Droid X we want to look at. So let's see. I have uh, hard reset this thing, so we're back to stock. I cleared all the data and all that. So here are the home screens. Nothing's really changed there. That same familiar non-moto blur, fill blur UI that you either love, you hate, whatever. I like it. I don't think it's bad at all. Dive into the settings, see exactly what we're dealing with. There's Android 2.2. Remember, this is an unofficial leak build, whatever. Uh, Verizon has not pushed it out. This might be the version they're pushing out. I'm not sure. I need to read through the thread some more. Uh, if you dive into the applications, you see you have the option to start moving apps to the SD card. I don't actually have any on there because I just reset this thing. Uh, but you will have the option to do so. And look at that. There's Flash 10.1. Already built in, as is Need for Speed Shift, so you can play that. So Flash is already on board. No uh, waiting for another download like the original Droid. Uh, the market, you have the new 2.2 market stuff, so comments are uh, on another tab, and you have automatic updating. There are the comments. Nice to have them in a separate tab, and you can tell apps to automatically update. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the launcher. Nothing's really changed there. Remember, for the most part, with 2.2, you're not going to get big UI changes. Things aren't going to look all that different. Uh, the just-in-time compiler should be added. That should be good to go. 3G Mobile Hotspot is still there. That goes through Verizon. That's not you know just the stock one that's on Android 2.2, so you're still going to have to deal with Verizon on that if you're uh, going the stock route. Well, let's see what else. Gmail, I don't think we have any of the changes that we've seen in some of the new Google apps. Uh, Jerry did a piece a few days ago. Let's see. Uh, that looks pretty standard. How about... Um, remember, the big one for me was the different reply feature instead of the little button up there at the top. We still have them down there at the bottom. So those haven't been added in. That's too bad. Hopefully we'll see those in future builds at some point because I like the changes there. Uh, what else? Let's take a look at the browser since we have Flash. Let's give it a quick run, shall we? And adobe.com slash flash on Wi-Fi. So this should load fairly quickly here. Let's see. And here it comes. Yeah, it's loading quite nicely, actually. I love this screen. 4.3 inches. It's just huge. It's so much fun for browsing. Especially when you have a site that's kind of graphically intensive like this. And there it is. There's Flash running on the Droid X. That's not bad at all, actually. <laughs> um, you know, Flash is still a little janky from time to time. Not as quick as I might like. Um, you know, it's, it's hit and miss. Sometimes it works better than others. But it's there. It's a good option to have. So that's going to do it for a quick look at Froyo on the Droid X. And we'll see you all later.